Hey everybody, I'm Eric from Turbo Sound. Thanks for joining me here today at Music Studios. Today I have the IQ12 here with me and I wanted to talk about some of the DSP involved with it, uh, specifically the feedback eliminator function. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so one of the many great features about the IQ series is the fact that it's got onboard DSP, including a feedback eliminator feature. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. First, I'm gonna go to my process button and it's the last selection on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and select it with my encoder here. Now it's, at the moment, off. Now, utilizing this feature is great for, let's say if you're using this for a monitor on stage, sometimes the performer will accidentally, uh, you know, brush the mic right in front of the monitor. Well, this is a great feature to utilize uh, before the performance, so you can go ahead and adjust your speakers. So let's go ahead and see what auto does. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Now, beforehand, I've gone ahead and set up a microphone about two feet in front, directly in front of the speaker so I can <laughs> intentionally create feedback. Uh, so just fair warning, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the gain on that microphone and I'm gonna create a little feedback on purpose. So watch your ears, here we go. So there you go. Now we see a little notch right here on this uh, screen here. That's the frequency that it's automatically discovered as feedback and started dipping down. So single will actually uh, single out a particular frequency. So let's go ahead and raise up the gain and see what happens there. So there we have it. It's gone ahead and dipped it out a little bit more because I turned up the gain just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the gain down on my, uh, my console here. I'm using the M32 by the way, and I have it hooked up via the alternate. Not only can I use it with my M32 family digital consoles, but I can also use it with the X32 family digital consoles as well. So here we go, I'm gonna get into uh, the learn mode on the frequency, or I'm sorry, the feedback eliminator. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna send a pulse signal. So as I raise the gain of my microphone, we can go ahead and create feedback using the learn function. So there you have it. That was the feedback eliminator feature on the IQ series. Hope you learned something on this video. For more in-depth tech specs, please be sure to visit turbosound.com. Thanks for joining me here at Music Studios. See you next time.